Hello again and welcome to a new video. Happy New Year to everyone. So today we're looking at this 2021 Toyota Hilux Invincible X Auto Double Cab finished in Titan Bronze Metallic. Now this vehicle's covered uh, just under 26,000 miles, I think it's 25,900 and something. Uh, full Toyota service history. I think it's had three services in total so far. Now, as always, all of the vehicles are machine polished. Uh, this is a really clean example. And uh, it came to us with a roll top and, uh, well, I'll show you. Came with a roll top and chrome bar, but uh, we've changed that for a brand new Truckman hardtop uh, with central locking on the back as well. So we'll bring you around and show you that. The body works really, really nice and clean and tidy. There's no marks at all. Um, we've put the black gloss Predator spoiler bar on the bottom there. Now if I come in close, you see the fog lights, etc., and the paintwork. There's no chips or scuffing anywhere there. I think there was a tiny little, couple of little chips here. Very, very minor, but they've been touched in. Uh, but other than that, nothing really there to report. We've also fitted the bonnet guard. We've fitted this uh, deeper one, slightly different design to some of them. Because uh, I like the way it shows off the surround of the grille because the other one covers this top section and this one doesn't. It leaves it exposed so it looks beefier. And the balance between the spoiler bar at the bottom and the bonnet guard, I think, really do it justice looks wise. And we've got front parking sensors either side just down here. Again, if you look at the paintwork here and all of the trims, I mean, it's a very, very clean example for a 21 plate. Really, everything about it, and that's why it warranted putting a brand new top on the back and not looking for a second hand one. And those tops are about, well, they're just under 3,000 pounds with the AT and fitting. If you look down the side, look at those panels, really nice and straight all of the uh, side steps in really nice condition, the wheels as well. The last customer fitted a pair of new tires on the front. I think they just worn a little bit on the edges. Now, if we come up onto the bonnet, as I say, there's not really, there's nothing to report. There's no chips on there, no marks. There's nothing on the windscreen. Really lovely condition for a pickup truck. We've got the JBL sound speakers in there. We come up onto the roof as well. No damage, no scratches. Obviously this is all brand new. With the windows that open. So I will just show you that uh, when we come around to the back. We've also fitted, uh, these are genuine Toyota wind deflectors. Nice and sleek, allow you to keep the windows open without uh, getting wet. You can have them just open a little bit if it's raining. If you like a bit of fresh air in the cabin, then uh, they're really handy and stop the buffeting of the, the air as well. And if we come down close, or sorry, come down low and then come in close on this side, again, you can see all of the panels in really nice condition. And then I'll just come back out over here like so, give you a side profile of the vehicle. Love this color, Titan Bronze is my favorite. It's very uh, classy, fantastic if you live in the country. I just think it really sort of fits in with that sort of country look or so I'm just trying to think of what else to show so round the filler cap as well no damage around there 
all inside there. Again, the wheels, no damage. I'll show you that front one. Is that in focus? There we go. That's in focus. And then the trims, uh, the wheel arch trims, no scratches. You'll be surprised how many of these vehicles have got scratches and all the plastics. This is uh, the central locking, uh, keyless entry, sorry. Lock the car. Unlock the car with that button. And the back one. Now, when we, um, before we fitted this hard top, let me just zoom out a little bit. Um, there's a sort of a step from the side bit. It gets a little bit lower in the center. So what we did, we put a, a little bit of um, uh, gel tape across there. Also, the windows in between, we've coated with uh, an auto glean product that should allow the water to run off nice and easy. So they're a bit easier to clean uh, in between. You can access the windows via uh, the sliding window inside, which I will show you. Now the other error to check, the rear bumpers, we've got rear parking sensors, all of the lights are done. Got the tow bar with the uh, hitch there as well. The bar and hitch, I think you call it. No damage on the back bumper. And then we look down the side here. There's no dents on that tailgate. Now, the top, if I get the key out and lock it, this is now locked. And then if we unlock the vehicle, so that's all working on the central locking. Now, I'm just gonna do that again. There you go. The light comes on. I think it's the handle and now we've also fitted the lift and damper kit now we do have to adjust this one because uh we've i think we've tightened it up in the wrong position so although it's taking a little bit of weight on the tailgate it's actually it's, it's actually not taking all the weight so we've just got to undo that put it in position and tighten it back up but that will be done uh, tomorrow probably so the, the damper kit will allow the tailgate to drop down smoothly and then the torsion bar, which is here, well, you should be able to lift this up with one finger, but I've just remembered that we haven't adjusted that before the video, so we'll get that sorted. Anyway, inside the back, obviously it's a brand new top, the windows open at the sides and then bang in the middle, You've got sliding windows just there. And all of the bed liner in really nice condition, the original Toyota one. No damage down here. The gentleman that had the vehicle before uh, had a cleaning company and uh, they also had vans, I think. And this was like his, just his company car really. So it really didn't get a hard life at all. Hence why it's in such lovely condition. Really nice along the tailgate edge there as well. And I say, this is all brand new up here. So let's just close that down. And we've got the camera just here as well. Just there. If you look down, steps, no marks at all. Let's come back out and show you on this side of the vehicle. I really wish I'd remembered to uh, get the tailgate uh, tensioner adjusted before the video. Totally forgot about that. So let's just walk round. If you look at one of the other videos of the previous Toyotas we've sold, you'll see how it operates and uh, this will be the same. So let's check out the door cards. Passenger front. So we check down the outer edge, all the way to the bottom. No marks 
on the door card. Really nice condition. And we've got the JBL speakers. And additionally, JBL speakers up on the top here. Now we've also got cubby hole here with a little vent on the side so the air conditioning will blow in there. You can put your sandwiches or drinks. And then we've got the locking wheel nut, books pack in there. We've got a set of mats as well. The aluminium seal protectors here. They always get a couple of little scratches on. You can't keep them without scratches. That's what they're there for, to stop the paintwork getting damaged. So as it should be. And then the leather seats, which are heated. Really nice condition, as is the headlining. Center armrest. This has also got the Wi-Fi, which is an extra. So the car's got its own Wi-Fi. All around the gear stick, and the plate there, really nice condition. Not all scratched up like some you'll see. It's got a nice shine to it. And then we've got uh, more buttons down here. We'll do this when we come round. So let's just go into the back of the vehicle. So again, door card, really nice condition. Seal, carpets, backs of the seats. We've got these little hooks here. If you can see that actually. Little hook there for hanging your bags, carrier bags on, etc. Now these seats lift up, they're split. This will clip around the headrest bar, and then you can put bags in without putting them on the leather seats. There is also struggling some storage underneath, and the other side comes up as well. And then I can pull this down, center armrest. Oh, the lighting has just really dropped outside. Didn't realize how dark it was gonna be. All nice in there. And you've got tethering points up there for Isofix, for child seats, etc. Let's move around. Take a look in. The back on this side. No damage at all there. Nothing to report there. Backs of the seats, again, no damage, no scratches. They're so hard to find, these trucks, in this sort of condition. You know, people do use them, you know, for what they're built for. Let's just put that on also. So driver's door card. And uh, window switches and folding mirrors, etc. So you can fold the mirrors in here when the ignition's on. Electric driver's seat, again the seal, no damage on the paintwork here. And all of the leather, again in really nice condition, no wear. And then we've got the preheat button to warm the engine up or warm the cabin up quicker. Parking sensor button and the DPF button below. Uh, when the DPF's clean on these, it's uh, very handy because they, they, they come up with a display on the screen here of uh, sort of like a, a blocks in a sort of a graph which will um, deplete as it regenerates so you know that it's finished its regeneration. 
It's about the best I could explain that, being it's the end of the day and it's been quite a hard day. <laughs> right, let's jump up inside. Close the door. Right, that's put the engine on. So it all comes alive. There we go, on the last trip, managed to gather 31.3 to the gallon. So 25,984 no, 25, miles. Now using the buttons just here, if we go down on this window, I, um, if you think of them like chapters and the pages within the chapters, so we can flick down and go through this menu and it will return to where it is. In fact, one of the pictures there, is it? That one is usually, I'm sure that will, will show you, is it when it's in here? The wheels, the direction of the wheels, maybe there's a setting for it. Okay, and then the next one along is the navigation or the compass music and then this is for the driving aids settings right lane departure assist your assist off so basically if you turn your assist on if you change lanes on the motorway without indicating the steering wheel will automatically pull you back into the lane sort of like a safety feature. You can adjust the sensitivity to that as well. You've got a sway warning there as well. We come back out of there. This is the, basically uh, collision awareness. So basically if you get too close to the car in front, it will uh, warn you with uh, a flashing red symbol on the dash. And it will, I think it does apply the brakes. I always stumble over what PCS stands for. A bit, well, as soon as I Google it, I'll be like, oh yeah. But I can never remember what that uh, stands for. Pre-collision something, I guess. And then this is road speed awareness. So it will show you the speed of the road that you're on, on the dash. Whoops, the little symbol at the top in the circle. And then the last one is for your dynamic cruise control or dynamic radar cruise control. And that's on. Now that is, if we turn the cruise on down here, and then we've got another button, if I can get this in focus, just here, we can adjust the distance to the car in front. Okay. And then we've got lane assists you can turn on as well. And it tells you if the your assist is active or inactive as well. So all that information there. And then on this side, we've got volume control, um, telephone, and you can change modes for the, I think it's the audio. Got all your source. Whoa, we're not in focus, come on. Got all your dab channels on here. And when you link your phone up with the USB down here and you go into menu, you will get down here uh, your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and then you can display um, your various apps and navigation, ways, Google Maps, etc., all onto the screen here, which I think work a lot, I think they're a lot nicer, if I'm honest, than the Toyota. The Toyota one's okay. But uh, personally, I prefer the Google Maps. Uh, you can also change, there's your Wi-Fi there. So you can turn that on or off, access the network, etc. Easy setup. I say smart link. I think that's for the phone maybe. I'll turn that off for now. Menu, um, let's say you've got your apps here as well. Oh, it's not enabled because I've probably turned it off. Okay, and then we're down here. We've got the climate control. 
your aircon, etc. Four wheel drive system, so high speed two, high four, and low four. And then down here, you've got the hill descent button. Uh, this is diff lock for the rear diff lock. Left and right heated seats. 212 volt charging stations there. Cup holders. Eco mode and power mode. So if you put it into eco, it keeps it in eco. If you're in normal mode and you're driving efficiently, it'll come up with eco down here anyway, but this just holds it basically in eco. It stops you using too much power and using more fuel, or you can put it in power and uh, use as much as you want to. So let's just turn the cruise control off, there we go. Uh, so we're done in there. I think we've pretty much covered everything in here. Mirrors inside here, we've got the glasses holder, airbags up in the side here. Like I say, with the windows, you can have the window open and not get wet, really like the wind deflectors. So that's, um, turn the engine off. I think it's Dan about. Could you pop the bonnet for me, Dan? Dan's just gonna give me a hand to lift the bonnet because, uh, quite hard to do when you're holding the camera so all under here again really nice condition all been cleaned very carefully with uh, maintenance spray and if we look up on the top all nice up there as well a nice clean engine bay so let's pop this down let's see if I can do this oh, it crashing down on my head <laughs> drop it down from there so there we have it our Toyota Hilux Invincible X Titan Bronze Lots of extras, got the 13-pin tow bar at the back. We've got the reverse camera as well. All ready to go, all serviced up to date. Now we've just also reduced the finance rate down to 9.4%. So what we've opted, to, or what I've opted to do is give away the finance at the cheapest rate to help people. Um, we lose all our commission. We don't get any commission at that rate. Um, but uh, the main thing is to look after our customers in these hard times. So if you need any finance, we've got some good rates now at 9.4 and uh, the ability to do uh, lease purchase, hire purchase. And I think we can do PCP on some of the 4x4s now as well. So um, get in touch if you need to know anything about that. And of course, we've got this extended warranty up to 10 years from new. So on a 21 plate, we're what, we've got another seven years of warranty. So basically what happens is after the first three or five years, I think this is on the three-year plan, if you go back to Toyota and have the vehicle serviced, they would extend the warranty for another year, right up till the vehicle's done 100,000 miles. So up to 100,000 miles or 10 years from new, if you service it with the main dealer, you will uh, have manufacturer's warranty on the vehicle. You can't get better than that. Let's put it this way. You get a free year warranty on a Ranger. You know, this is 10 years. It's worth a fortune. So uh, get in touch, any questions, look forward to seeing you. Take care. Bye now.